Yo, Vesant here. So this is gonna be My Hero Academia, kind of a beginner tip thing. It's no, it's like random tips, no particular order. Um, but first of all, I'm gonna start off with rerolls aren't worth it because all the characters have potential. I'm gonna roll while I'm doing this. <laughs> have potential, and um, you only get like four tickets from rerolling, right? And then when you try to link it, they do warn you. Oh, I got a character. <laughs> They do warn you when you link it, it'll wipe out your guest account. So it and linking currently do have issues. So that's one thing to be worried about. And as you're playing the game, you'll lock coins and stuff like that. Um, use your coins for refreshes because that will help you in the long run, and um, it, it will allow you to get missions. You can get missions earlier because you need those to, to grind to get more level ups and then get your character stronger. So use your coins for refreshes because you get a lot of coins from like just doing quests. Um, a lot of the, the in-game stuff just give you coins in general. Um, so just do that. Alright, next you want to check is the buff shop. I think as you're doing your dailies, your daily missions, you can go to the mall here, buff shop. You want to get the stamina buff because it gives you a permanent stamina increase of 40 points and i believe you can get yeah you can get these from completing awards or top off bonuses uh so you can like open these i believe the last one it give you 30 so as long as you keep doing your dailies you will be able to get get those and you want to make friends right so make sure you can go to your friends here right you make friends as, as much friends as you want um, but you can only collect five at the time so but make sure to you know give it to stamina to your friends and you can receive some back um, all the leftovers just kind of saved there for the next day in case somehow your friends don't give you anything and next you want to make sure is that you want to join the alliance because there are daily donations right and then these donations give you like awesome prizes and also help out the guild and you because you also get these guild coins right when you're doing these donations and then you as you give money as you donate um the guild leader can activate this training thing where you can get dropped and stuff which is nice uh and so the lion shop is where you're gonna use these coins you can get the money you get some mixtures you get some uh food i would consider like the cosmetic stuff last because you know they're they're just cosmetics so get on with that all right so as you unlock gear right you have these enhancement slots here and if you did not know is that when you enhance it enhance the item slot not the equipment itself so you can just when it asks you to enhance you can just go ahead and do it i believe it's better to start off with gloves because of the penetration you can go bypass the defense and then maybe um you want some attack actually this one is probably the second one it increases your damage overall and decreases the amount of damage you take but yeah, so it upgrades the weapon slot, not the weapon itself. Just just be wary of that. There is dailies on the dorm, so you can make sure you do them to get the daily stuff. Uh, but one of them is visit the room, right? If you don't know how to do it, you just click random journey. It'll allow you to go to a person's place. You click on this, you brush it off. And there you go, you have cleaned. You went to someone's place and cleaned. You can also do it from the follower list if you want. But that's how you would do it for, for you know, just daily. <laughs> Alright, for dorm events, uh, they kind of happen randomly from what I've seen. So just check back once in a while. And then you notice that these, these bubbles right above the character, that's when you know that the dorm event is happening. So it's asking you for a horse, right? I bought a horse as an ornament. A lot of these are ornaments that they want. So like the motorcycle, the horse, the slide is freaking expensive. <laughs> And I think one of them is a box too that I believe that's in here, the snack box. Some some of them will want that. Most of the time is those uh, objects. So I did buy one, so I'm gonna place it right here. Let me just get that. Grab that, put the horse down somewhere. Maybe like right here, rotate this. Firm, save and quit. Grab her, so you can grab them and just put them right on there. Boom, dorm event complete. You do like a little heart heart thing. Right there. I, I, I did a bunch of them. <laughs> Alright, so once you unlock co-op, I believe is that level 10. 
you do want to at least get do your dailies of these so there's joint operation you get one chance to get stuff so make sure you do that and then there's also emergency which is also one time to insist and then you can also trigger this one time a day as well so make sure you go do those and we have agency assessment as well so if you don't know how this works is that when you actually go and join one of these matches in order to upgrade your permit you have to do whatever level is telling you so if you look here like i'm like four seven so and then it ends at in like a day and 16 hours so if i were to do this I, it would start at seven so you can kind of look around you can help people out by the way if you want to but you can only use the character each character twice so start off with your weakest character for like floor one, two, three, whatever. And then just slowly make your way up until you can't do anymore and then you stop. So I got to floor seven and that's pretty much where I stopped. <laughs> All right, for versus, there's the arena here. Um, there's a point battle system. It's, a, it's very time limited. And that's the one that you can like actually increase your rank to get loot, I believe, right? You can check that out right there. And then we have versus super co-op battle. What you wanna do is you wanna go as high as you can whenever you can, just so you can um, get this reward because this is time-based. So every hour you get depending on your rank. So the higher you go, um, the more stuff you get and you get it over time. And I believe the bots are pretty hard. I might try to fight this later, <laughs> but the bots are pretty hard, just fair warning. But it doesn't hurt to try and you can use your coins to kind of get more. And yeah, don't use your coin. Don't use your coins for summons. Use them for refreshes, and or um, maybe attempts if you can climb more, so you can get better loot. All right. One thing is that you're gonna get to a point like a, maybe like tw level twenty four or something that you're gonna have a quest say that you need to be a certain level to progress. Right, your level is right here on the top left. So you need to hit that certain level, like 25, to unlock, continue the story, so you can level up your character some more. Um, you can go look at the map. There are these side quests, right? They're indicated by these yellow markers. Um, you can go do those. I believe they give you some EXP, and they increase your city level, which will give you, you know, nice drops over here. And, uh, and then you can also make sure that you do your hero trials if you haven't done them. They reset daily, so make sure you do them, especially for the characters you're working on. Like, I'm working on these two right now, and um, Denki. <laughs> so make sure you go do those, and then if you have any leftover stamina and you still haven't reached it, you can go to supplies, right? Do whatever you need to get. You're going to need a lot of money, um, so just <laughs> that's always an option, <laughs> by the way. Um, but usually you can always just increase your money by clicking here and then you can get money 100 give you 100k But don't do it that often because you rather use them for refreshes for your stamina and you only get like what? 10 a day and it increases with every time you redeem one And then yeah, I would use just your stamina to just grind the supplies to be honest right, Unless you're level 27 then you unlock night ops which is the chip grind and this is very useful because this is where kind of like the end game grind is going to be and these chips are very helpful because then they actually go on your character here uh let's see you go click on one of these you get a chip so it's like extra extra buff and stuff like that so if you have stamina and need to use and level up this is a good place to also do it if you're level 27 and above but yeah that's just a quick video of the quick tips Hopefully it helps you out and um, keep grinding. I'm on server three and I do stream on Twitch. I've been playing this game since Global dropped. So drop by, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if any other tips you want to share with everyone else. And with that, later days.